Okay, so I know what to say. Yo, I got excited to do a live today. Um, I'm not sure if you can do captions here. Uh, copy link. And then let me share it. And I, I for a while. So, okay, so. Uh, it's only be 30 seconds, but anyways, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel. And today, um, I am, oh, I can't see stuff. Okay, anyways, anyways, and today I will be sharing a little bit of an update of what is going on in our life. So, I know that there's not going to be many people here yet, or even not here, but anyway, this video will be left um on the channel so you can watch for an update so the thing is i don't have um it's been a crazy two weeks trying to move and it's been really really tiring i feel like i sleep a lot but i don't have enough sleep i don't know why but yes this is a real life hi everyone thank you so much for joining me on today's life and um, this is kind of like a sneak peek of my place. I wanted to film it yesterday. I wanted to film like my own, um, how do I say? I wanted to film like a video and edit it. But I feel like even if I put it there, it will be very like boring. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, so thank you so much for um, all of you who are here watching the live right now. Like I said, this video will remain on the channel. So if you guys are curious, um, you're in for some tea. Okay, not really tea, but um, I just wanted to give a little bit update about my life. Because for me personally, making uh, videos and stuff like that, I feel that I have to say stuff out before I can continue with my life. So that's the reason why I'm here. Somebody says they're watching the house tour now. Is it on Lucky's channel? Or no? I, I didn't post any house tour. I only post like a pre wooing vlog. So Naughty sort of um already posted a sort of how do i say like a house tour but a like semi house tour because it wasn't fully furnished yet but most of the things are in i would be doing a house tour this sunday with everything like all the lights turned on and stuff like that so nothing will be helping me with the main thing it's sitting there okay he will join me later or so okay so back to the topic i don't want to dilly dally so much um, a little bit of, um, if you guys are here and trying to, like, figure out what update I'm trying to give you is, as you guys know, I am, um, uh, I have officially graduated from Korea University, and, uh, I'm not sure if any of you is, if your first time here, hi, my name is Jeanette, and I am Singaporean, I'm living in Korea, um, uh, I'm married for a year already on, um, and other video is on my channel if you can uh, find it and watch it and then um, I have been studying in um, Korean University in Master's Education of um, for I mean I'm taking Master's degree I have taken Master's degree for two years and I officially 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 graduated in August 25th yay He's laughing at me. Okay, anyways. So, um, the official graduation date was on 25th of August. But the thing is, if you saw other KGSP, which is Korean Government Scholarship Program students, they had a lot of their ceremonies done in the last week of August. And that is basically the correct procedure. But the thing for Korean University is they do not hold more than one ceremony a year and the official ceremony it's in february and that's the reason why you did not see me take any photos in my gown i mean i really wanted to do it but i didn't get to do it because yeah they didn't hold a ceremony for me so i decided to graduate with my friends in the ceremony in february so please stay tuned for the graduation vlog it's going to be a very very delayed graduation vlog but yes it'll come in february okay so I graduated in August and then a lot of people have actually been asking me oh what are you gonna do after and since you took psychology are you like gonna work in a hospital or stuff like that okay so first and foremost I studied cultural and social psychology not clinical psychology not counseling psychology so 
Um, I do not have any practice um, expertise. I did do counseling in the past. Like, I did a bit of behavior therapy for kids and stuff like that, but I did not really, um, have, do not really have a certificate for giving um, counseling and stuff like that. So, um, I will not work in hospitals and stuff like us. Uh, I will not work in hospitals, but I can apply to jobs like research, working in like government positions or like organizations that's helping um, in culture, building cultural, um, I don't know, events and stuff like that, that I can help to um, improve the life of foreigners in Korea. But the thing is, after studying two years in Korea, I realized that um, Korea, even though it has um, advanced a lot in terms of trying to um, accommodate the wide variety of foreigners in Korea, it is still, it has a little bit of gap in terms of trying to make their life better. So what I mean by that is that um, a lot of systems here, even though it's very high tech and stuff like that, a lot of it is catered around their own people. And that is very inevitable only because when you're a country and you hold a passport of the country, of course the benefit goes to you first. And so for the foreigners, if you are a foreigner and you're watching this video, yes, it is hard. But, um, yeah, so that's the line of work that I wanted to do, I want to research about and work into. However, even though I wrote a thesis on it, I realized that uh, coming into the reality of working is not that easy to find a job. Not that I try, okay, because, I mean, I do, I see a lot of my friends working some of them I have success stories and some of them are struggling maybe because they haven't found a job that they want but for me I feel like the feel of my work when it comes to what I study in psychology might be more applicable if I go back to Singapore and I try to help improve the lives of Koreans in Singapore maybe that will help or improve the lives of Singaporeans here however there isn't a very specific position like that in Singapore in Korea for Singaporeans and if I were to work in any job highly likely it will come with like a lot of translation and stuff or if I work in a Korean company yeah I would just totally be into like the Korean uh, society so um, that wasn't really in my plan and in my head for some time and um, if you guys have been following me throughout you will have noticed and heard that I will be concentrating on content creation for one year. So, bless me guys. I hope that this will work well so that um, it can sort of become one my income. I mean, of course, I do content creation. I do like find joy from it. But when, you be when it becomes full time, the downside of it is you have to earn money from it and I believe that all of you watching here even though you know that content creation does they earn money from it you sort of still want to watch them because of who they are and maybe there's a value or there's a belief or there's a character that you like in them and that is what I will be trying to develop in the next month okay so I'll share you something special later on okay so please stay tuned and um Yes, so like I said, I'll be doing content creation instead of um, working in the psychology field. So of course a lot of people ask you like, are you going to go out to work? How are you going to use your major and stuff like that? Which is something that I have no answer for because I'm just going to do content creation. But content creation is, um, right, somebody asked, why not do some content with your profession? Maybe I can talk a little bit about living in Korea and like, um, I don't know how to reach out to um, because I learned a lot about individualism, collective living, collectivism, and I learned a lot about like collective psychology and stuff like that that helps to blend into Korea society because I studied a lot of uh, study cases here. So I can talk a little bit about it, but um, I am a very mostly light person i can be light and heavy at the same time but I, I prefer to content to be a little bit more fun because i prefer to watch this kind of content that help me relax right so i'll be going towards that side but maybe once in a while i can release some deep content but i need to do a lot of research about it so 
please give me some break off research for a while. So I've been researching for two years, so Karen K. So that is what I wanted to put out there. Um, by the way, I'm just looking at my iPads because um, I am an INFJ. I, I can't change ISFJ or whatever. I had to plan like what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay, so um, the thing is, I wanted to talk um, a bit about like the job seeking part also. So I did try to look for a job. I wanted to do a part time job actually because it sort of fills my time and I can sort of try to build my confidence of staying uh, like staying in Korea and stuff like you know interacting with people in Korea in Korean and stuff like so I did my very first interview in Korea and I felt like it went kind of well but um the thing is I really like the cafe because I interviewed for a cafe job but the thing was because this is also an announcement that I have been saying a lot we will be going to Singapore and Indonesia next week from the 10th of september to the 20th of september we will be in singapore and 21st of september to 26th or 27th of september we will be in indonesia so because of that two weeks break um i did not get the job but i mean it was a really good term because he picked me then i told him like i forgot that i'm going overseas so i told you a little bit so in the end he couldn't have me but it was a good experience and I really hope that I'll be able to find another part-time job maybe when I come back hopefully I'm not sure but anyways okay so I did try to look for a job and I can do it okay so don't 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 judge me okay so um that's kind of a little bit update of what I've been doing since um past month ever since we came in from Japan life was a little bit slow and like I was facing stress about stuff about stuff uh, i was facing stress about different things in life also and trying to you know manage my mental health but um i wouldn't say we're at the peak or something like that but we're just cruising through life trying to figure out things so yes just wanted to make that um transition into talking about mental health okay so um i wanted to talk a little bit about um our journey thus far cause um as you guys know the uh, the very first thing that I want to talk about I just want to put it out there because I'm sure that some guys some of you are curious right um, I will not say the whole thing is because I have sort of filmed videos about it already just that I have not posted it yet so it will come when it comes then you'll find out but the thing is I know some of you did when I do my Instagram live some of you do ask me about the trying to conceive thing because the last time I posted about ovulation and stuff like that was um, probably in February and a lot of you guys must be wondering like hey how come like there's no news yet okay so today is not any announcement we have no news at all so and um, just put out there yes we are still kind of trying I mean we were actively trying for a while and then right now for just my mental health, we're kind of like, not say stopping, but um, I don't know, I just feel like doing tests and stuff like that, it makes me really uptight because my period is super, super regular. And because of that, um, I think when you're stressed, then it doesn't come. But anyway, the period will come. So it's like a very vicious cycle and I'm like drowning in this um, journey. So um, sharing this with you, I just hope that if you, any of like the ladies here that know i'm going through this journey and you're going through this journey too i just want to say big kudos to you you know you just have to like let go which is the hardest thing to do in my life i don't know i've never done something this hard in my life i mean i did but every day it's just harder than the last day i don't know it's just in my mind okay so as you can see my mind is very messed up when it comes to this part so i'm just gonna focus on my mental health for this month um and um that is a very short summary of our ttc journey they call it ttc hashtag ttc journey okay so that was one part of it we're still trying so please pray for us we are um on more on the positive side for this month last two months was we we're a little bit down and um there are reasons for it that we haven't talked about but you will see in the videos next time okay so that is what, what the first part of um some honest talk about what have been going on recently but the second part that i want to talk about is actually content creation so um the thing is 
Mm. Ever since we came back from Japan, I haven't really been filming much videos. It's because of some stuff that happened in our life that made me sort of stop. I feel that for me as a person, I really want to share uh, my true life, my true personality on screen so that you guys can sort of connect with me and stuff. And I'm really appreciative for all of you who come here just to watch me because of that. And, um, but for me personally, I'm not like 100% ready to sort of share about it as of now. And I hope you guys will understand. But because of that, that is like the biggest hurdle in my content creation journey that I cannot figure out what to film yet. I mean, for this month, I sort of planned and geared up for it. But for the last two months, I was really dry in content. I really don't know what to do. I've scrolled TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, YouTube. I even started watching YouTube, guys, and stuff like that. And I'm still really lost about it. But right now, gearing for the month ahead, as you guys know today, is first of september and because it's first of september this is the reason why i filmed this video so i wanted to talk about a little bit more about this month but going back to the point yes about content creation i'm a little bit stuck a little bit lost i'm not sure what to do and honestly um my mental health me alone hasn't been very on the good side like i used to be very positive and stuff I mean, the beginning of the year, I was just stressed. I was just stressed throughout, but it was just because of studies. And after I submitted everything by the end of June, like everything was fine, but we had another set of challenge and that put me into another hole. And I don't know why God put me through this kind of stuff, but I believe all of it has a reason. And the reason will come to you in some time in the year or the next year or whatever in this journey. But I hope that being able to share this with you is to show and tell you that um, as even as content creators or people behind the camera, not behind the camera, like in front of me right now, we do struggle with life as well because we are also humans and I just hope that you also can get encouragement to, um, I don't know, whatever difficulties you're facing in life, you can just sort of carry on because we do go through a lot of stuff in life, be it in our own lives or the people around us, be our family or friends. Yeah, it's just, you know, life doesn't go the way as planned and that's just life. Okay, so even though we're down in mental, me personally, I feel that um, every day is a new day. So even though you start it bad, it doesn't have to end bad. If you start it good, it might end bad, but there's always another day. So that's the reason why um, we have to do our best in whatever we do, right? So somebody was like, I'm with Team Jeanette all the way. Yay! Okay, so um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about social media as well. So. Um, I feel like ever since I started, I mean for Northeast even longer, he did like this social media thing for 5 years, right? Even just for me, in the last 2 years, it has changed so much that I am a little bit lost about what to do. Like even me, in just the last 2 years has been very, like there's so much change and everything's happening so fast. And it doesn't help that age is catching up with us also and... We are not running as fast as trend changes. I'm not sure if you feel the same way as us because we are 94 kids. So basically, we are in our last year of 20s and we are turning 30 next year. Dang, there's going to be a 3 in front of my age, but yes. So, uh, <laughs> that's what we're going through now. And social media has changed so much that there is a really very different path of how social media is going to go. It used to just be fully YouTube and then now because attention span is getting a lot shorter. I mean, all this is in psychology, right? People want content fast and they want to know what's going on fast. And because of that, we have to transit into short content. But then some people like funny content. Some people like like satisfying content. Some people like with ASMR and stuff like that. So the thing is, it's so hard for content creators to find their personality and to find their color amidst this kind of trend because as I mentioned earlier in the live this video that we still need to earn money, right? It's just a very realistic thing and I don't wanna like hide it. Like oh no, you know, we just do it for honest reviews and stuff like that. No, we also need to earn money. So the thing is, um 
when we do one kind of content, it's, it's doing well, and then like it just switch over so fast, so we really don't know what works, and every single content creator is just praying that the algorithm will just like ride their wave and will come to us. So um, please bear with us if sometimes you think that the content is done is not that interesting to you. We are still trying to think very hard about what works. And we're very, very thankful that you guys still um, watch our videos and support us in the comments and in the DMs. It means a lot, a lot to us because I've watched a lot of, honestly, infertility journey on TikTok. And by them opening up their lives to people, I realized that there is such a big community in terms of like people supporting them. And I believe that for me in this channel, I'm not sure about other people's channel, but I feel that this online community gives me a sense of like, not hope, yes, a sense of hope, but a sense of like home in another sense that it might get um, lonely when I'm overseas, but it does help me in trying to um, sort of, I don't know, feel better in some way because there's encouragement from strangers who know my life through videos and that is... Um, something that I'm very very appreciative of after coming here and I think that's one of the best reasons of why I did YouTube and start YouTube and continue this content creation thing. I think if I had it bad and I can't deal with hate and stuff, I would have stopped after a year but there's definitely another group of people that can um, you know push you forward and encourage you like all those of you who are in this watching this live right now. Okay so um, I just hope that um, even though that social media is so unpredictable and we always try our best to do what we can for those viewers out there based on what we want to, you know, cater. I feel that a pet pet on myself, I feel, I've, I remember two years ago, I said like, oh, I wanted to become like sort of the bridge between Korea and Singapore. I wouldn't say I'm 100% now, but I'm slowly inching there, maybe 30, 35%, hopefully. One day I'll become the person in between and you guys will know for both. So I am very, very thankful for um, all of you who have been supporting me right from the very start when I started this Yo thing because I have no idea how that became my opening but I'm thankful that you guys just made like a opening for me but yes, okay. So um, I just wanted to say a very, very big thank you to all of you here be you came from Naughty's channel or you just appear through algorithm something I'm thankful if you appear through algorithm means you love me. Okay anyways, so that is sort of um, the two things that I want to talk about by myself. The next thing is I will in I will invite my Korean fella here. Oh, Korean. <laughs> uh, oh. I just wanted to I mean because I always hear from my friends that it's fun when there's two people together. Oh, no, of course it's fun because we always have fun interaction at home. It's just that we don't film it much. I don't know why it's so but Anyways, okay, let's welcome my very, very um, cutie husband, Mr. Puppy. Huh? I didn't hear enough clap. Let's me. give it up for Mr. Jack. I'm sorry. Nobody can see that, only if he's like, like he's in here. He's like dancing. Look at my puppy. Hi. Okay, hi everyone. This is um my naughty. Put your leg down. Put your hand down. Put, put it that side. Okay. Okay. Now this is my naughty. If um your first time on your channel, once again, this is my husband. Actually, I washed my face already. I probably have to wash this onto your face. Okay, this fella hasn't bathed yet, but... <laughs> okay. Me as Singaporean living in South Korea, Korea you can actually make, make those, those travel... travel guides for tourist destination for Asian to watch local perspective. What's that? Thank you so much for it. I, I mean, I, I know that you guys are you're just trying to say I should make a guide for tourists. Maybe I should. Maybe I should start planning and stuff. Mm. Okay, but anyways. Um, not this year is because uh, we wanted, I was talking about my honest feelings about content creation and stuff like that and because not this year has been doing YouTube for 5 years so more I just wanted to 5 years? Oh more than it, yes 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 more than it. 5 years was like last time I remember I but six. Six. Can you sit more in front? I need the screen to be more, okay no that's too much front 
Not too far, like just here. Okay, just stay here. Okay, don't move. Just stay here. Okay. I want to see the chat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I cannot, cannot. Okay, it's okay. So, yeah, Please. why we cannot see chat? Uh? That's weird. I've been, I want to see. Uh, the, the chat will pop out like that later oh, when people just comment. Just bubble chat. Uh. Yeah, it's just bubble chat. Okay, anyways. Okay. So, because I was talking about like, um, and you have to yes, we're doing well in Korea. Hi. Okay. Okay, so, um, like I said, sorry, we keep going out of the point. We want to talk a little bit about um, content creation and stuff. So, I have shared my update about my life. Let's share a little bit of update on Naughty's life. So, Naughty. <laughs> I'm not prepared for you, but... How has your life been in terms of like, oh, every lot. How has your life been in terms of like, because I remember there was one year, last year, I think, the beginning of this year, mm. whatever, we talked about depression. So, mm. how is it for you right now? Um, depression has been better. I think I don't have a mood swings, but I don't think I'm fully recovered because like, I don't think I'm like long ago. But I'm, I'm also confused whether I'm age or um, depression. Mm-hmm. It's kind of confusing. And somehow I think I really worked hard five years ago until like last few years. So I can't deny that my body kind of break down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I can't deny that. Okay. But then... Because Naughty has been off medicine for at least half a year already. If I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's been off medicine already. Yay! For some time already. So congratulations. And I hope you'll never go back to eating medicine. I don't think eating medicine is something bad. Yeah, I don't think it's bad also. But I, I don't think it's... That's a bad stereotype. I don't think it's good That's also. a bad stereotype. This is from psychology perspective, okay? But that's a doctor psychology. Yeah, that's psychiatry. But you're supposed to do it together with counselling. Okay, but we're always worrying about this. It never, it never works. Okay, anyways, I mean, none of us are doctors. So. Yeah, so anyways, that's just personal opinion. But anyways, that's his... I say so many anyways and so, so sorry guys. Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> he already update about depression. Okay, so I also talked a little bit about content and I know that even though like my mental health is not doing the best even though I don't have mm-hmm. depression. Mm-hmm. How about you? How is like your content creation journey going nowadays and I think what are some of your content okay. woes uh, uh, I think talking about the content wherever you guys you guys definitely are using the phone smartphone for YouTube Instagram TikTok Reels but um, the era where YouTube was very big mm-hmm. and now people are shifting to the short platform mm-hmm. yeah, maybe sure. as a user or as a consumer you just consume the content right it's not something special but as a person to create the content is very confusing for me to it's not easy I mean it's not easy to jump from a long format to the short format so I'm also adapting but the thing is I can adapt to the short but it's very hard to adapt for both right right a lot to of do pe- both at the same time mm. is kind of challenging a lot of people think that you know maybe you can do a long format and take like some part of it as a short but it's also not easy yeah it's I, I, I still think hard. that one content should be created for a one purpose and yeah it's, it's very hard for me so even me as a six years experience with the millions of followers are also struggling so wherever you guys if you guys are trying to be content creator mm. it's very normal to be very very lost mm. yeah that's, true. that's what i can say about the content creation journey okay and then right now i believe like because I said I did YouTube for two years. I can feel the change of I believe. Yeah. I feel the change mm-hmm. in market or for Korea especially. So when it comes to K pop mm-hmm. and K content and stuff like that, I feel that the feel has changed so much. So in your opinion, how has it changed and how has it affected you? When it comes to like K-pop, K-drama, uh, uh, like, just Hallyu, it has changed so much. We are like in the what, six, seven generation. About five years ago, people are still very curious about Korea. The information are very limited. True. But then, um, it's still in a curious, curious level. But I think nowadays there are too much information, mm-hmm. and there are so many. This is not mentioned by me. It's by a professor from a big university oh. saying that a lot of people are doing claiming knowledge. Right, it's so just a different generation They think now. that they know better about somewhere without going just because they watch a lot of content mm, mm, about mm, those mm, places. Mm, mm. I think it's not only happening for Korea or some places, it's happening the worldwide. So just a lot of people come to mm, Korea now. They yeah, so I think that is one of the things that changed about Korea 
and it's, it's also good that a lot of foreigners come in Korea and they create content their perspective as a foreigner here. That's something they totally agree. Yeah. So claiming knowledge is something very, very um, problem. It's a big problem nowadays and yeah. nobody knows how to s- settle it down. So mm-hmm. it's like, let's say someone looking at the Korean idol and mm-hmm. Korean looking at the Korean idol, we have a different way of um, seeing it. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's, for Korean it's fine, but for foreign it's not fine. But why is it fine? Why is it not fine? You know, this kind of thing. Yeah, like, it's very brief. Yeah, and then when it's fine, yeah, I, I've been talking about it for like a uh, few people also. Let's say it's fine for Korean. Mm-hmm. So let's say this idol did some behavior that mm-hmm. is fine for Korean. Mm. Or like, it's not okay. maybe it's not fine for Korean, but it's fine for the foreigner. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And Korean are cancelling it. Mm. That's where the, the, the other party will think that, oh, this there must be a, some hidden rumor that is not told to the public so, yeah, uh, because in a different culture is a different treatment of some behavior right, right, yeah right. so i think those things are happening really 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 okay. seriously nowadays yeah, i that's think that's I hard about creating content in mm. korea for us nowadays especially because in our position we're trying to sort of cater k cultural content to you guys be anything related in korea in korea whatever we feel is cultural content right and that's our role as maybe cultural content creators to sort of um, give you this kind of information but because of this claiming knowledge phenomenon like we get a little bit more not positive feedback all the time as compared to last time so we have to deal with that as well mm. and yeah that's like kind of one of the biggest role that mm. we face and if to wrap this out if you can, you have to, not uh, just this part, to wrap oh, this I part up. Oh, I thought kind of finished with you. No, okay. no, no. To wrap this part up, if you have to choose what is the one, the first or the biggest thing, the one of the biggest struggle of content creator in this world now, what is it? I think one. it's very hard to make content because huh? your We are content creators, but yeah, it's, but hard it's very hard content. to make content because our mind is so, so, so bad at focusing uh, into something there's too much content it's like now. you know like everyone knows that when you are watching tiktok short reels like you can spend three hours without thinking anything yes and yes it seems like for us i just need to make a one minute reels video it's like okay maybe i need like five minutes mm-hmm. but it's actually you know it might take one hour yeah. sometimes it's three hours mm-hmm. some people do like a before after journey that maybe take like few Ten, days yeah 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 like, like three seconds of now and another three seconds of ten days later and yeah. another three seconds in ten days later. But, but in that process it's like yeah. you so don't know. Although it's only three seconds, it's very hard for everyone to keep focus that oh you know, I have a goal where to go. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we become very short sighted, we just like We are lost also. Like what's next? What's next? Yeah, okay, so that's one of the greatest struggles that he talked about. Okay. So because that is um, one of the things that we are facing sure, nowadays. Span. So right. for me, personally, I feel that to sort of um, improve our mental health, sort of to improve our mental health, for me personally, I've been sharing a bit about uh, with Naughty about it. I have decided, because I decided to film this on September 1st, I have decided to plan a special theme for this year's, uh, for this month's content and I'm gonna call it Intentional Glow Up September Why is it Intentional Glow Up September? Because um honestly I've been seeing I mean because I scroll Instagram and stuff there's a lot of people going through transitions in their life and with transitions comes with a lot of stress and a lot of changes and stuff like that and sometimes you might lose yourself in this mess and even after transiting, you might be very lost and you don't know what to do. And that's for me. So, intentionally, as an adult, I don't know if this is an adult thing, but intentionally, you have to break out of your norm to sort of feel something different, to get a different insight and stuff like that. So, it's not a natural glow up because when you're adult, honestly, 20 years old, 40 years old, you don't, make, you don't look so much different. I mean, 30 or 50. But you have to intentionally try to be different and to feel different. So that's the reason why I call it the Intentional Glow Up September. And I wanted to talk about it because in this month, I have planned for myself so, so many activities that I wanted to try by myself. For example, like, um, 
going for classes that I never go before and uh, maybe doing things that I've never done before and Naughty has been asking me to bake, maybe I'll try to bake. Hmm. Maybe. And then maybe I will try to like pamper myself and like buy something nice for myself. That's not a good No, but it's glow intentional up. glow up. It's just like you have to glow up. I mean, of course, there will be a lot of skincare and makeup tips that I will be shaving also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so um, literally just trying to glow up with K-beauty and K-makeup and K-treatment and whatever k k k k k K. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. so hopefully in this journey that I'm doing, you'll be able to learn something. I'll provide information on how you can come to Korea to look for different stuff and not go to the same usual places to find your things. Also. It's, it's not wrong to go to the same place. Yeah, it's also. fine, but the world has moved on and so have you to The older side of you. No, no, no. <laughs> so you have to move on as well, okay? So, but, but the main point of doing this intentional glow up September is because I want to just feel confident again. Because ever since coming to Korea, I feel like due to language barrier and stuff like that, it's very hard for me to step out of my comfort zone. And after living here for three years, I think I can do it now. Hmm. Kinda. So that's the reason why I try to um, look for a part time job and stuff. But I realized it starts from. A very important thing because just now I was in the gym and the gym in Korea has so many mirrors I don't know why but I was there and I realized when I was walking on the treadmill right like my body was just like that and like that and I just feel that it matters so much and it starts with posture and stuff like that. so I started to walk like this I started to lift weights like this not like this you get what I mean mm. So it really starts with posture. I started to like sit up straight. I started to look up. I started to dress nicely. And I started to just like dress up and stuff like that. And it really helps with the inner healing. True. Mental health. So that's what I'll be doing. And I wanted to share with you through this video. I wanted to film a video about it. But I think I'll just talk a lot. I'll blabber like that. And I don't know what to cut out. So intentional glow up September. So Naughty, will you join me in this intentional glow up September? I'll try to support you with my prayers every night. And um, please support me with money too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if there is one intentional thing that you can do this September, what will you do? Uh, actually, I just, I had a big, 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 what's it called? This uh, meeting with my crew today. Okay. My team, I mean. Okay, sit in front. I, I, Don't spoil my I'm teacher. trying to. I also try to. I'm uh, focusing, like the consistency of a short platform and YouTube video. I try to focus to two. River in the same time, like a big river and a small okay. river. Yeah, I'm trying to do that more, and I'm trying to split days. With the work. Mm. Let's say Monday, I only want to make shots. I won't make a long video in Monday. Mm. Tuesday, I only want to think what to do instead of doing it. Wednesday, I cannot think. I only have to do, let's say, yeah. I'm gonna split my days into a different oh, day. So, wow, you're so different from me. So it's like, Monday is only planning. I cannot do, I shouldn't do, although I have, I can, I want to do. Tuesday, I cannot think. I only have to do what I have thought the day before. Oh, you're quite jail, so yeah. And Wednesday, maybe like, I try to force myself to rest, let's say. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to split the day to do, because I think... Mm. It's very hard to be consistent without my habit is consistent and waking up early, you know, this kind of thing. For me, I'm just trying to plan the activities that I want to do that I think I'll feel good through it and then make content out of it. I, I but believe, that's my way. I believe in consistency. I believe in inner positivity. I believe inner positivity can, comes with. A consistent My, choice. I believe it comes with intentional choice. Which of comes choosing. from the consistency. Yeah, that you're just you're choose. just pushing it down. That's not nice. Pushing it down can be erased by doing the consistent. That's not nice, right? He just has his own way and he thinks he's right. I don't think it's right, but I'm trying to recommend what I think is good for you. Yeah, I'm trying to recommend that you should just find something that you like to do and do. The thing is that he's actually a very boring person. Very what? Hmm? Yeah, I'm a very boring person. I agree. Yeah. I got no friend. I don't have much friends. Yeah, she has more friends than me. Because before. I went to school. 
I had. And all his friends became my friends. Because no, but when his friends, he they, he don't text his friends. <laughs> I text his friends. Yes, so yeah. they start to text me instead. So yes, yeah, I don't know a what, friendly person. My, my friend come to Korea, they text Jinnia and I'm like, oh, we plan to meet. Oh. And somebody's like, chill. Yeah, we're going to fight. But Naughty actually can make a weekly checklist of things to mix. And the, that's what he usually does. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, right, that stresses me even more if I don't get to do this. I feel like I cannot breathe and stuff. So I just let it go and then I just wish it can come out in the content and then you can see my character in work. I, I, I want to have the feeling of, you know, I want to work, but no, you can't work today. And I want oh, to have a, I want to so rest, but today I can't rest because it's not the best day. That makes me uh. feel like I'm more rewarded. Oh, uh, for me, it's as long Called French fries can. No! <laughs> as long as <laughs> I feel French that every day can. I can upload something, I feel very, very accomplished already. You upload that? Hey, you talk so much that I upload more than you, eh? Wait for Reels and TikTok for the last two days. Last year? How many days? Two days. Ah, see, my see 30 days, my consistency. It's not about the short. No, it's not. It, some people don't count like that. It's just, it's just different way, okay? You're not wrong, but you cannot say I'm wrong, so okay? This, this is why seniority is important, really. Ah, boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> Okay, so that is how, um, what we're gonna do, and I already asked about Naughty O, and it's end already, okay? So, it's been 40 minutes. Ah! Okay, so, um, very thankful for... Very thankful for joining us on today's live. <laughs> I said on this stove. And um, I'm not sure if you like this kind of content, but it really helps me a lot. But it's not that always we can do this kind of live because I don't have so much things to talk about. It's just that I've been wanting to talk about updates and stuff like that. That's the reason why I'm here. And I just put Naughty in because I think I could have done it by myself, but I just wanted you guys to see him and then just see how he's like. This fella is a bit gone today. Okay, so thank you again for watching today's live. I hope you have gotten the update that you wanted and I feel like with this I can go on with my life. So please stay tuned to Sunday's video. We will be uploading 